Hey, welcome back. This is Tales of Fantasia Part 7. When we last left off, we were at the Lariat Trading Company and seeing that Elwyn and Nancy were married. So our next step is to go to the right and see the new boat that is going to take us to our next summon in the catacombs where we can go get Volt. And this is our friend Morris Harrison, not Morrison. There's been a problem. The ships can't leave port. Sorry, Dos has been extending his power to the seas. It's too dangerous. But we have to do something. I see no other choice. We'll have to try. Is there another way? You stopped in Euclid on the way over, right? Well, don't tell anyone I told you this, but they've got a Royal Magitech laboratory there. A Magitech lab? If the sea's too dangerous, go by air. You mean, fly? Let's discuss the details in the lab. This is a Magitech research lab. I am an emissary from the Kingdom of Alvanista. I am here on an important business. Can't you let me through? Uh, I'm sorry, but, uh... Only authorized personnel are permitted beyond this point. Can't you let me through due to my status as a diplomat? You're a diplomat? Uh, what should we do? What should we do? He's a diplomat, we have no choice. Very well. Please, go right in. Uh, who's this? Stanley, chief researcher of the Royal Science Academy of Euclid. He's researching flying machines. Flying machines? Allow me to explain. Look behind us. This is a manned flying craft that runs on magical energy. It's known as a tech bird. Although research is still continuing, it can already be put to practical use. If you'll use it to defeat Dows, then I'll let you have it for free. But... Harrison said- oh. There was a whole other scientist character. I thought it was just Harrison explaining it to us. You must be able to fly as far as Alvanista. The tech bird lacks the power to fly such a long distance. Hey. Don't you call yourself a Magitech Air Engineer? Why can't you just increase the power? You don't know what you're talking about. Well, there is one way. Uh, what is it? We'll do whatever's necessary. Put simply, the tech bird uses magic energy by converting it to electricity. So if we could use the electrical power of Volt, the lightning spirit, we might just be able to boost the power enough. Unfortunately, there are no summoners in this area. Uh, I happen to be a summoner. What? I, I said I'm a summoner. Hey, could we use that power to make my broom fly long distances? Huh? Um, well, we're still researching it, so I can't make any promises. There is a theory that magic brooms fly by converting magic to electricity. Unfortunately, it hasn't been proven yet. Uh, I don't get it. At any rate, let's not waste any time. Don't get ahead of yourselves. I mean, you need a ring to form a pact with a spirit, right? Take this with you. Whoa! What are you doing with a pact ring? Well, an Alvanistan exploratory team found it in the Morlia mineshaft. They gave it to me to use in my research. Uh, are you sure it's okay? Yeah. I studied it, but I didn't learn a thing. You got the Sardonyx Pack Drink. Rumor has it that Volt lives in a cave to the southwest of Miguel. Apparently, that cave contains the vestiges of an ancient civilization. I've even heard that it might be full of mysterious devices. Thanks! We'll go check it out! Can't we fly there? No. We have to go all the way back. Oh, no, we might be able to fly there. That's on me for not checking right away. Can I just... Nope. So, it, it's necessary to get Volt in order for them to work. I can't just take the Eagles to Mordor. I have to actually fly there. And this bass rift is pretty cool. Rising. 
the enemies are super easy now. Because we're significantly over leveled. Um, my walkthrough says that the guy is level 38 at this point, and we're like 43 now. Okay, so to the southwest, that means it's probably around this mountain range. And there should be some sort of hole in this mountain range. Oh my gosh. The ooze is... making me do the snoozes. There we go. Very nice. I think that's... Yeah, and it literally says Volt's Cave, so that's nice. Wind is not. Earth is source. Water is destruction. Fire is power. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, Earth is the source of what? Water destroys what? Fire powers what? None of that. I don't get it, but we're fine. I don't need to get it. And I got two lavenders, so I'm gonna use my, uh... Rune bottles on it immediately. And then, I. Uh, Cress is the only one that really uses strength, so there he is. He's literally twice as strong as anybody else. Even Chester, but Chester's getting up there. I, th I think he uses strength. And they're making this easy. The dead ends don't actually lead anywhere. Uh, does that make any sense? Have you forgotten the code of the ninja? Let's go back to the ninja village. But if we go back now, I'll try to convince the chief. Silence. You fail to understand Lord Douse's noble philosophy. You're being played for fools. If you insist on interfering, then you will die. So be it then. I will carry out my duty according to the code of the ninja. Prepare yourself. Oh my gosh. Too fast! How sad. That's nice. They just take damage points and then their body disappears. That must make crime scene investigation in this universe horrible. And you are? Hey, wait a second. Gone. Nah, let's get out of here. Ah, what is it? Uh, hey, Cress? What was that voice? Uh, that girl. Yeah. I wonder what happened. Let's go see. Oh, gosh, I... What happened? She's all n numb. She's like all numb. She's numb all over. Yep, all numb. I can't move. Well, we'd better help her. Chris, go help her out. Go help her, Chris. Go help her out. They're all friends now. What? Why is everyone telling me to do it? Eh. All right. Ah! I'm all numb. I don't know how that broke the machine. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, barely. Chris, are you okay? Uh, but I'm still shaking all over. You've been zapped with electricity. I'm sorry, everyone. But what are you doing here? This is no place for a little kid to be. It's, well, 
Uh, what's up with her clothes? Um, goodbye. I wonder what's wrong. We're in a hurry, remember? Anyways, we'd better get moving too. I haven't done this in a month, so I've forgotten how hard it is to remember all the voices that I... did for everybody. And I gotta switch to the sorcerer's ring so that I can do magic here. Oh, that made it way worse. Okay, I think I'm supposed to do it from up here so that I don't get zapped. You got the Gar Fragment. I think that's a book. It's gotta be, right? Yep. One of the books of magic. A translation of a metal plate found in some ruins in the north. Well, this is probably better than what he has. It's from the future. Books from the future are better than books from the past. And it gives him, like, triple attack. Oh my gosh. Nope. Don't need it. Don't need it. To be beaten by an enemy like this. Alright, what's it gonna be? Obedience or death? We have to help! Chris. Yeah, better help. You'd better help. Chris, go help. Uh, Chris, time to help. Hey, hey! What, I have to fight alone again? You've gotta be kidding me. Uh, whatever. Oh, that didn't change the song at all. That was kind of odd. Wait, why do I have to do it alone? And they have Substitution Jutsu. So, either... That's just a thing that ninjas are normally supposed to do, or ninjas... Or Naruto took it from them. Because this came out in the 90s. Naruto came out in the... Like, 2002. There go. But it seems like off-brand for them to invent ninjas substituting their bodies with wood. Oh, gosh. Why? It's not like this is an easy battle. My party members should be here. They just think it's funny. Oh, that was a poison shuriken. That's pretty cool. I am not doing this battle very well. And this poison damage is... Brutal. And now I need a Panacea. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Imagine uh, losing this fight and then... I haven't saved in so long. I cannot forgive the wanton slaughter of innocent people. Look how sad Cress looks. Are you alright? It's like the party members did not want Cress to win. That was horrible, but looks like I'm still alive. 
I'm relieved to see that. Uh, what are you doing here anyway? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but at least, uh, tell me your n name. Suzu. Hello, Suzu. Would you like to come along with us? Uh, no. Thank you very much for saving me. Uh, goodbye. What's that all about? We'll never know if she's not willing to tell us. Unlike some people, she doesn't talk too much. Unlike who? I wonder. Like, stop acting like you know each other. You don't. You just met. There must be some reason. Well, I don't get it either, but we'd better find Volt first. Good point. Okay, I was worried my audio was off. Like, they turned the, off the music. Okay, that's fine. Very nice. And what's this sign say? There's a hidden passage to the right of the room with the upward stairs. Who said- who gave that? Is this like a- It's like a Dark Souls chalk writing. Oh, is this a rope? Nope, you can't. Either that or I don't have a rope, so... There we go. Nope, go away. Oh, our holy bottle seems to have worn off. <laughs> Because I use holy bottles. So for some reason, Cress is, or uh, Chester's missing a few health. Maybe it's because he's leveled up since we battled, or... I really don't have an explanation for it. And I'm... I see. I see where I screwed up. I'm gonna grind off camera. I mean, don't don't take that the wrong way, but This time, I'm gonna head south. No, that's exactly the way I just went. Uh... I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I'll pause. Okay, so there's that memorable generator, and then we go down the stairs, and this is what the sign was telling us to do. And this is the hidden passage they were talking about. And so I've just stepped on that switch. No, not on my Nintendo Switch, but... And then, I think we went south. And this is the new one. And then we get beat up here.
Oh, I got the. As, at this point, I should just. I gotta save, my gosh. Well, we accidentally won that one. So now this room is available. I pulled the lever. And then I dashed through there. an apple and a bread just in a box in a cave and now there's a secret path to the right and if I step on that I go back to the entrance because it's an emergency exit What's the sign say? This floor has a secret. The rest is too worn out to read. The lever's busted. Like, can you imagine if an integral part of getting through the... dungeon was just busted like that? Okay, so the door stays open a little longer than the electricity actually goes. But I think that battle interrupted it. This is going to be tough. That race with that kid in uh, that town. Trained me for this. horrible. Worst part of the game. I'm gonna pause until I get it right. Okay, I wish I could have gotten that on on the record, but then you'd have to see all the other attempts. Huh? There's an invisible wall here. I guess that means that's the way to go. It's a lever. It's in the cave. I probably need to pull it. Of course, I, I do need to pull it. Uh. 
Okay, it's easier just to win the battle at this point. I'm so mad. I'll go north this time. And it pretty much doubles her attack, but how often does she ever use that? Okay, so that's really... It was for that broom and the l lever in here. That's what we came to do. So then we go down here and teleport. And there's a new entrance somewhere. Nope. It wasn't at the main entrance. It was at the at the generator room. It, we got rid of the invisible wall. That's what happened. So I, I'm going to go all the way back there. Yeah, so this is the room with uh, this one. And there's a door. I guess uh, we weren't able to go that way before. And one of the monsters dropped a mystery bow, which is probably going to be awesome because we have never... Nope, it's just a longbow. It's exactly what he already has. Oh, they gave us plenty of time for that one. Huh? There's an invisible wall here! Oh yeah, it's probably a good time to save. Because I haven't saved in a long time. So, this is kind of a tough one. We gotta hit all three of these generators. Eh, somewhere. Okay. Yep. And it's not going to work unless I run, because... Huh? Oh, I guess we're supposed to have, like, the flying stuff to get those. Either that, or it's going to be a Dragon Ball-type battle where they're going to destroy this whole mountain. So, this is the famous Vol? <laughs> Uh, what the heck is it saying? 
Ah, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, I should have healed. Look at him squinting. He's like... So, the little minions have uh, resist or heal from... Uh, Volt's weakness to water. That's pretty cool. They make a good team. This guy hurts just by walking. There you go. He's the dirty bubble. I know uh, Mint's probably already doing this, but I want her to use Nurse. No, I'll hang out. Make Klaus hit him with the book. Sorry, dude, we're just trying to save money. But he's really weak to melee. Or really strong against it. Uh-oh. Lightning Tiger Blade heals it. But it, I don't know. Crest can't use real lightning. He doesn't have magic. This is definitely the toughest summon we've ever battled. Because he can just walk and hurt us and interrupt everybody's spells. Oh, I did the wrong one. It's like this guy knows how to beat up heroes. Okay, I'm glad he interrupted me accidentally. Lightning tiger blading as I tried to walk toward him. So that's where all my TP is going. It's going into interrupted and beasts. And I guess Archie doesn't have any kind of water. This battle would be over by now if I didn't keep accidentally using Lightning Tiger Blade. I'm just going to pause. There we go.
So we got two mystery swords and an emerald ring, which is probably our next packed ring. It settled down a bit. Alright, time for the pact. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, whatever. But what pact ring should we use? Um, just line them all up. I beseech you, great lightning spirit. Submit to me, as decreed by the covenant of this ring. My name's Klaus. Look, the sardonyx ring is glowing. Archie, can you get that for me? I knew you were gonna say that. Alright, I guess I'll try. Uh, don't pocket anything where we can't see you. You know I wouldn't do that. Here you go, Chris. Uh, you don't have to get so mad. Hm. Chester, I really, really hate you. Who asked you to like me anyway? Hey, enough with the fighting already. This is neither the time nor the place. Okay, fine. Uh, what's wrong, Archie? Nothing. You got another emerald ring and mystery clothing. So I guess, uh, since we got two emerald rings, they must not be packed rings. Either that or they're very common. Like, we'd be able to find multiple different packed rings. And we're going straight to Euclid. That's convenient that it's pretty much right next door to... No, it's not. It's not right next door. But it is on the same continent, so we got that. And it wasn't in the castle, it was in, like, a lab somewhere. So, the mystery sword we just got is apparently one of his best weapons for Cress. And... These, uh, these new rings, the emerald rings, those are... Pretty good, because we can use the, uh rune bottle on them and turn them into fairy rings so now we have three fairy rings and I believe that means yep it reduces TP by half everyone who needs that And Klaus is always getting tired. And it's not worth it to put two fairy rings on one character if you have, uh, because it's better to have a fairy ring and a mystic symbol at the same time. And we have one more fairy ring to distribute. And, you know, Mint never really seems to need the TP she has, but let's give it to her anyway. I see you can summon Volt now. Yeah, I'll try summoning him right away. 
How does he know it's a he? It's just a bubble. <laughs> Vault, I need to borrow your power. I need you to channel your power through these flying machines. Klaus, are you okay? I think so. Archie, let's take care of your broom now, too. All right. Just to move the story along, they zapped her broom with electricity in the exact same way they did with the their little flying machines. All right, this should be good enough. Now all you need to do is use this. Uh, what is it? Just take a look. It sucked up the tech bird? What's that capsule? This thing is what we call a wing pack. It's an item that can be used to store a tech bird. This lets you carry the tech bird around with you. Go on, take it with you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna take a tech bird to Alphanista first. I need to tell the king about you as soon as possible. You'd better take a wing pack too, then. Thanks. All right, everyone, come as quickly as you can. Right, let me explain how it works. The tech bird is a mini airplane with the latest control and gyro devices. So they have airplanes? It will move in response to buttons pressed by its pilot. The A button accelerates, and the B button lands the craft. You can even land directly inside a town. Of course, you won't be able to land on an obstacle or in the sea. <laughs> Look for the shadow to determine where your current landing site is. Press left-right on the pad to turn, and up-down on the pad to ascend or descend. You can fine-tune your movements by holding down the R button. Remember take off with the A button. Note that taking off from inside a town is too dangerous, so you can't. Want to hear this explanation one more time? Yes, I want to hear it one more time. <laughs> Thank you so much. If it breaks, just bring it back here. Not that that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> All right, let's go to Alvanista. No, I, I wasn't paying attention to what he said at all. There we go. I don't know what button I pushed. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to his explanation at all. There we go. This is cool. I don't know where Chester and the other one are. Yeah, I don't know where Chester is. This is pretty cool. They look like little skarmories. Is this... Town of a... Ooh, I didn't want to go there. <laughs> I'm destroying the tree of life right now. But I guess we if we go to Euclid instead of Alvanista and sleep in the inn, then um, Chester has another training sequence and he becomes a sort of good... Good party member. I have no idea where we're going. There we go. Welcome. This inn has been around for more than a century. Ten gold? There's no inflation in this... Uh, what are you doing? Nothing. 
So you're doing nothing in the middle of the night? What do you care what I do? I'm sorry for saying you looked weak. That has nothing to do with it. Then what's going on with you? I said it's nothing. Now stop bugging me already. Okay, sorry. But I don't think it'll help for you to worry so much about it. See ya. Hey, you don't understand anything. My little sister was murdered. She was only 11. And you know what makes it worse? Her murderer was slain by Douse. Do you understand how frustrating that is for me? Uh, that's... That's... Isn't that the same for Cress? I'm not saying you should forget about your sister, but your frustration and impatience is too obvious. Looking at you, I can't even breathe. Can't you just please leave me alone already? Well, good luck anyway, Chester. All right, what level is he now? 31? There we go, there's Elvanista. And while I'm here, I'm going to look for the recipe for seafood stew. So I need to look for the food store and Could be anywhere, to be honest. Ah, they moved the food store again. Now I'm gonna starve. And uh, there's the chef. He says, here's a one of my secret recipes. And we get the seafood uh, stew. And I'm just going to buy all their rice. And this is my first time being able to buy a cucumber. What's a konjac? Is that, is that a kind of tofu? Prepared by simmering powdered konjac stem and lime water. And then to the magic lab. Hey, who are you? There's no place for commoners like you. Leave at once. Uh, but we're Lord Harrison's... Silence. Wait. Lord Harrison? They are who I was talking about earlier. Show them some respect. They are? Ah, uh, please forgive me. Please excuse his rudeness. This way, please. I heard they're the ones who can defeat Douse. They're just kids. Are they really up to the task? Here they are. Nice work. One Grum? Uh, who's he? Uh, someone we met in the past. He's the court magic user here. I never expected to see you again, Lundgrum. Well, I do have elven blood, you know. I wish our little reunion could have been under better circumstances, but I am still happy to see you all once more. You haven't changed a bit, Lundgrim. Is that so? I'm sure this is. there's much we have to catch up with, but won't you please meet with the king first? Sure! Your Majesty, here are the five time travelers from the past. 
Uh, thank you, Lundgrum. Harrison has no doubt told you that Daos has now become a threat to the entire world. We now know that this vicious cycle will continue. As long as Daos has the power to travel from one future to the next. However, we have not been aimlessly battling Daos. And by that you mean? Among the ancient treasures found in the ruins of Thor, we've obtained some information that could be the key to our problem. A key to our problem? Several thousand years ago in the ancient past, three kingdoms battled for dominance of our continent. I'm sure you've heard this before, but they were Odin, Fenrir, and Thor. After Thor was sunk to the bottom of the sea by a meteor strike, mysterious men appeared and put an end to the hopeless war by annihilating the remaining two kingdoms. We've discovered documents that mention the three weapons they wielded. Are you saying those three weapons could defeat Daos? It's said that merging the three weapons they wielded will create a magic sword that can control time. You mean we could prevent Daos from traveling through time? That's correct. The magical research lab should have more information. To think youngsters like yourselves could defeat Daos. Your story has become a legend told throughout our lands. The tale of how you defeated Daos, enemy of the world, 150 years ago. Seems that once again you're our only hope. I await your good tidings. And then I don't remember whether magic lab is, but... Okay. The three weapons? According to the text found in Thor, they consist of fire blade, ice blade, and a pact ring. Ninja monsters have appeared recently. I don't know if Dao's created them or is simply controlling them. Well, he's controlling them. We heard the discussion. The mighty kingdom of Fenrir, which flourished in ancient times is said to have been located in and around where the town of Freeskiel stands today. That's where I went by accident. You could probably find out more about the three weapons there. I wish somebody would buy these spell books I have here. Ancient texts from Thor say that one must use Origin to merge the three weapons. But isn't the spirit Origin just a myth? Doesn't make sense. One of the three weapons is reportedly a diamond pact ring. I bet it's connected somehow to merging the weapons. This is... That's what happens in, um... The game I just played, Summon Knight. Where you merge the fire sword and the ice sword using a summon spirit. I really wish they'd improve the development environment here. Odin, one of the great ancient kingdoms, is said to have been located amid where the volcanic zone now lies in Freeland. According to historical texts, it was a green and fertile land back then. They say even now an ancient structure still towers over the volcanic zone in Freyland. And let's make sure I didn't miss anybody. And, um... So in the next video, I will be going to Freeze Keel and starting up getting the three ancient weapons. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Check out my next one.